right, season 41, War 2, four Lokis facing ISO 8A. At least that's what they're calling themselves this season. They have a uh, tendency to switch alliances between seasons. So this war, we'll be going ahead and we'll keep in an overseer because he's an absolute monster. And uh, Carl and uh, Void. Yeah, we're going to bring in Void. Um, we're going to be doing the boss with Void. So that'll be a little bit of fun. But no Section 1 fights. Let's just jump into what I got, which is the shared fight on no 20. It's, you know, strike counter. Um, and we're going to be doing it with our good friend, Carl. Got to put in magma form. Um, we're not going to make that mistake this season like we did last season. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to beat his ass down. I did pop a PS1. Don't really need a PS1 here. Um... I did it more because the next fight I have right after this, uh, I would want a PS1 for uh, just to get to the special two a little bit faster. Um, but here, yeah, I mean, once I throw my first special two and refine my form, there's really not a whole lot of worry here. I do pick up a couple Furies for Terax, but who gives a shit? All right. Now we've got the Null on 22. Last time I did this fight, I was atrocious. Um... I want to be more like lags, and so the first step in that is to not parry, which is where I got myself into trouble, is that I thought I was trying to parry, it wasn't, it was just bad. So anyway, we're not going to do that this war, we're just going to bait out heavies and then punish. We are going to try to push him to special twos, um, but of course I uh, don't do, I do a full five hit combo and he immediately throws the special one. So now I have the reverse controls timer on. Um, I'm looking for an opening to throw my special. He's not giving it to me, so I just got to do an SB2 intercept, which is not the optimum way to play. Obviously, you want to do the heavy cancel into the special, but this is what I got to do to avoid reverse controls. Um, so now I can just safely push into a special to wait for him to throw it eventually. Come on, Null. Let me hit you a couple times, show you what I want. There we go. Um, I should just be taking the whole dang thing on the block. I don't have to um, do any more fights with Absorbing Man. And by even dexing out part of it, there's a small chance that I get hit. I don't know. Probably safer just to take the whole thing on the block. Yeah, but this fight's over. So much better, cleaner version this time around. I'll take it. All right. Now we move on to Section 2, Path 8. Um, this is the Rich Get Richer Path. First up, we have this OG Scarlet Witch. I'll be using Overseer. Once again, I pop an SP1 boost. Don't really need it for this fight. And in fact, it's kind of funny because she drains my power almost instantaneously. <laughs> it made me laugh when I did the fight. But yeah, Overseer is incredible for this. I do throw a special one here um, rather than a special two. I don't really know why. I think I just wanted to spam the special ones for the global benefit of the Fate Seal, but I probably could have just built to a special two. I would have gotten power back from the SB2 because I am I did turn on the science boost, so that's just, you know, food for thought for later. We'll go ahead and go to the next fight, which is this gallon. Don't even need to pop a potion. Um, this is why I wanted the power start one is because I did wanna I did worry about needing to spam specials against this guy in order to control his planetary mass. And so I start off here by throwing a special one just like I did against Scarlet Witch. And I'm just like, I don't think I really need to do this. And so because he throws his first SP1, he gains absolutely zero mass because of the Fate Seal. And so I just say, screw it. Let's go to the SP2 for the big damage. And that's clearly the way to do this fight. Um, because the Fate Seals prevent him from gaining any planetary mass and the power back boosts allow me to just keep rinsing this dude with special twos plus i get the benefits of you know the disorient all this good stuff so yeah this is a very very easy fight it was one i was slightly concerned about but it ended up going great so hey good job by overseer all right now we move on to the boss fight um, my PS1 is still active because those first two fights went so quickly. And uh, so we're going to be just spamming special ones against this dude. I also got the benefit of some re debuffs from my friend Cam Cam um, just for the added damage. I don't do a great job 
keeping them up. I think I lose them about halfway through the fight. I could do a better job of that. Um, I really could. But, you know. Like, here's a good opportunity. I should have just gone for the heavy counter to the special there. That would have removed the form. Um, so I'm forced here to do a heavy counter. Um, here I should throw a special one to reset the debuffs. I don't do it. And because I don't do it, again, there, I'm going to lose the Mr. F debuffs. That's a mistake on my part. See, there I do a good job of doing the heavy counter to the special and removing the form, but it's too little too late for those debuffs. It doesn't matter. Again, it's extra damage. It's on top of what I already have. Void is incredibly safe for this fight. Um, just constant damage over time, prevention of healing, really sort of uh, incinerate immunity to not have to worry about the magma burst damage. He's really, really great for it. Um, if you don't have a void, which you should have a void, you know, Scorpion's great. We didn't run any Scorpion teams this war, and so, um, you know, which is a, a consideration of not only who has Scorpion ranked, but what other fights do those guys have to take. So, void ended up being the second best option, and we get an easy solo. No deaths for me! Holy shit, it actually happened. Um, we're going to win this war. Uh, good luck to Isoate or whatever they call themselves this season, and I'll see you in the next Life Jack.